you've made or ever wanted to make the sustainable switch from your store-bought aluminium based deodorants to a more natural deodorant, stick around because I'm going to teach you how to make your own. At the moment I'm personally using Humby Organics naturally handmade deodorant in the scent blueberry and geranium, my personal favorite. But I'm a lover of homemade products, so I thought I'd test out your stock standard DIY recipe. Natural deodorants are so much better for you and the environment. And here's a few reasons why. There's no plastic packaging. You have control over the ingredients. There's no harsh chemicals involved, no aluminium, compostable packaging, reusable packaging. And if when you're making your own, it's also a lot cheaper. When I looked up a few recipes, I actually found that I had all the ingredients I needed in my house already. But if you don't, you can find nearly everything at your general grocery store, a local bulk food store and health stores as well. So you're going to need two and a half tablespoons of coconut oil, two and a half tablespoons of shea butter, quarter of a cup of arrowroot powder. You can use cornstarch as well, but if you can find arrowroot powder, it is a lot more absorbent. One and a half tablespoons of baking soda, two to three drops of tea tree oil, and six drops of lavender oil. Now, one of the recipes I looked at did have grapefruit oil, but I didn't have that, so I just stuck with my lavender essential oil. So the first step is to mix your shea butter and coconut oil in a glass bowl over a boiling pot of water, and keep stirring this until it melts. Then you wanna add in your arrowroot powder or cornstarch and your baking soda. Keep mixing until you have a smooth consistency. Then add in your essential oils. Now we use tea tree oil because it's antibacterial, so it kills any bacteria in your armpits and also helps fight odor. So natural deodorants, instead of blocking your pores, actually mask the smell of your sweat. They let your body sweat naturally, which is what we need to do to release toxins instead of blocking up your pores. I use lavender essential oil because one, it smells amazing and soothing, and also is antimicrobial in nature and can help reduce inflammation. I have lavender essential oil in my house for so many different reasons. So now it's gonna be added to making deodorant. I have it to add to my heat packs. I use it as a toilet room spray. It's great for masking odor. And also just in our diffuser. As I'm in Australia and we're heading into summer now, it's actually a great opportunity for me to try out these deodorants in the heat of the day. So I went online and I went to see if we had any hot days coming up in the next week or so. And we have a 31 degrees Celsius day tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trial the DIY deodorant as I know the Humby Organics deodorant works as I've used it for over a year now and see if the DIY deodorant can match up and take on the heat. I'm just gonna take a second here to say that this video is brought to you by Zero Waste Cartel. We are an online community full of sustainable tips, tricks, and tutorials with a wide range of environmentally friendly products that help you and your family achieve a sustainable lifestyle that suits you. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about Humby Organics deodorant now. We've got to be fair, we've got to talk about both. So our Humby Organics deodorant basically has the same ingredients, but I wasn't quite able to get the consistency. And for me, this was a real shame as the application of these deodorants is what makes them above and beyond. Because you don't have to use your fingers to rub them on your armpits. So there's that messy part of it which is avoided. Plus they're super lightweight. They're easy to apply and you can take them anywhere with you. Whereas I find the jars were a little bit frustrating, especially when I was out and about and needing to reapply. I did actually end up having some deodorant left over that I made. So I looked a little online a little bit and I noticed I have some beeswax pellets left over from my beeswax wraps. So I added that in to make, to try and make a more of a solid consistency quite like bees. So it's in more of a bar form. And unfortunately, I didn't quite achieve that, and that is one thing I really wish I could have got. Despite this, so far, both deodorants have held up really well. The Humby deodorant is definitely more compact and easier to take day to day, but when it comes to the amount of reapplying you need to do, there isn't much in it. I would say if I had to scale it, you probably have to reapply the Humby Organics deodorant the least amount of time, closely followed up by the DIY deodorant I made with the beeswax added, and I'm sure any other vegan wax would do the exact same. 
And then thirdly, followed closely by the DIY deodorant made without the wax pellets. The only other downside I would say to making your deodorant is time. And to be honest, it really doesn't take that long. But the one thing I found a little bit frustrating was when I actually had to clean the bowl which had the shea butter and the wax in it. But I'm willing to sacrifice a few moments of my time and frustration for the environment. So applying the deodorant, I did a little bit of research and some people say they prefer to apply the deodorant when it's your armpit is slightly damp. And I think that's when the consistency is a little bit hard. So you can have a little muck around with what you prefer. I prefer to apply it when it's dry personally as I think it feels a little bit tacky when your armpits are wet. But all you can do if it solidifies a little bit is just warm it up, warm a pea sized amount up in between your fingers and whack it on. And I do find actually with natural deodorant less is more. If you take it with you during the day you can experiment to see how much you would use and how often you have to reapply. We're all completely different. We're all also doing completely different things during the day. If you are only switching to the natural deodorant now, remember to give yourself a little bit of a transition period as your body is going to be getting rid of the buildup of aluminium and other harsh chemicals used to block your pores. And you want to get back to your body's natural balance before it can start really doing its magical wonder and masking your odour. But if you'd rather have a handmade natural deodorant, then you can head to any of the links I've left in the description below. I've linked all the scents, we include all the ingredients, and all packaging is compostable. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with any DIY tutorials or any product reviews. If you have any other questions, queries, or comments, please email us, comment below, or contact us on any of our social media channels, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.